This is the second half of the inequality video. In the previous video, we looked at solving basic inequalities, and we also said that when you divide or multiply by a negative, you must change the inequality sign. We had not done any examples where we're going to have to multiply by a negative. So here's one that says x divided by negative 3. If we're going to undo this division of negative 3, we need to do the opposite, which is multiply by negative 3. As soon as you put this and this over here and you are multiplying by negative 3, you need to grab hold of that inequality sign and change it before you do any operation. So this is going to turn into greater than or equal to. Then you can do your arithmetic. The negative 3's cancel and you can do your 2 times negative 3 and this is what you end up with, x greater than or equal to negative 6. The graphing is the same thing we did in the other video. You can use your square bracket on negative 6. It is greater than or equal to, so you're going to shade everything out here to the right. If instead of using the square bracket, you're using the big solid circle, you could put that right there instead of the bracket. So multiplying by negative also requires that you change the inequality sign around. Sometimes you don't see a negative to begin with, but in your solving, one appears. So in this one, you have a choice of either subtracting 4x from both sides or subtracting 8x from both sides. The first time through, I'm going to subtract 8x so that I can create that negative to show you what happens. When you subtract 8x from both sides, these 8x's here canceled out, giving us negative 4x minus 6 greater than negative 10. We need to undo this subtracting 6, so add 6 to both sides. Those are going to cancel out and we'll be left with negative 4x greater than negative 4. To solve this negative 4 times x, we need to do the opposite, which is divide by negative 4. As soon as you do that negative 4, grab hold of that inequality sign and change it around. Then take care of the rest of your arithmetic. These negative 4's cancel out, then do this division over here, and you end up with x less than 1. Now to graph this using the open circle idea, x less than 1 would be an open circle on 1, less than is everything shaded out here to the left. If I want to do the same thing using a parenthesis on 1, I'm going to do the same parenthesis. I'm still going to shade out here to the left. Let's do this same problem the other way. This time let's subtract 4x from both sides because what that will do is keep a positive value for us but it does present another problem at the very end that we'll have to deal with. So we subtracted 4x from both sides, that canceled out, giving us this equation right here. Undo this 4x minus 10 by doing the opposite, which is adding 10 to both sides. Those 10s are going to cancel out for us, and now we have 4 is greater than 4x. To solve this, we need to undo that multiplying by dividing both sides by 4, and this is where you need to be careful. If this were an equal sign in between here, it wouldn't matter if we flop the x over to this side. But it does matter when there's an inequality. So wherever the x is, you need to leave it there. At this point, we've divided by 4. When we cancel out these 4s, this x needs to stay over here on the right side. So now I have the statement 1 is greater than x. Students often make a mistake when the inequality is in this format. It's easier for you to graph if you'll have the x on the left side. So if 1 is greater than x, that's the same as reading backwards and reading x is less than 1. So switch the inequality sign around to this, and then you're ready to graph. x less than 1, if you're using the open circle version, open circle on 1, it is less than, we're going to shade to the left. On the other hand, if you're using the parentheses format, use the parentheses here, shade also to the left. So we didn't have to change the inequality sign because we divided by a negative. It was just a good idea here at the end to switch it around so that we could have the x over on the left side because that's easier for us to graph. Here's a longer one dealing with a negative fraction. To solve this, we're going to have to undo this subtracting 4 to begin with. So we add 4 to both sides. That cancels out. And we now have negative 2 thirds x is greater than 6. To undo multiplying by a fraction, the easy way is just to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of negative 2 thirds is still a negative, it's negative 3 halves. Because we are multiplying by a negative, we need to grab hold of that inequality sign and change it around before we ever deal with any arithmetic. If you'll get yourself in that habit, you'll save yourself a lot of points because of not switching the sign around. So multiplying by a negative switches the sign. What happens here with this reciprocal is a negative times a negative makes a positive. The 3's cancel, the 2's cancel, and we're left with x. 
might be a good idea to give a 1 on the bottom here. You could just multiply straight across and get negative 18 over 2, or you could do your fraction reducing with 2 goes into 6 three times. Either way, you're going to end up with a negative 9 on this side. We swap the inequality sign around, so now it says x less than negative 9. So less than is either the parenthesis or the open circle, whichever you want to use. Less than is going to shade out here to the left. So that's the second part of your inequality video. Main thing to remember is that when you multiply or divide by a negative, you must switch the inequality sign around. Otherwise, solving an inequality is just like solving an equation.